Hey everybody! Hi guys! <laughs> this is my little sister Taylor if you have not seen her before. She is in some of my videos, um, I think a couple of them, maybe like two. One. Oh, you're in the one? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're making a little mini series. She is currently on Christmas break, so we she has only about a week off and she slept over my apartment last night. So we are gonna make a series of five videos for you guys and I wanna see if you guys like them. And they're gonna go up, um, I'm thinking on Saturdays, probably about the same time that my other videos go up, like 12 to three-ish. And um, this is one that Taylor asked if we could do. Taylor, why don't you introduce yourself? Um. Hi, my name is Taylor. I am 10 years old. Um, I is that to, it? <laughs> I love to play soccer and I love to snowboard. And my favorite color is pink and blue. So yeah. That's, that's good. It's a pretty good list of things. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get right into it. What is this challenge called, Taylor? What are we calling it? We are calling it the Would You Rather Challenge. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna kinda just see what the difference is and some questions, kind of what the difference is age-wise, what I would answer as a 19-year-old and what she would answer as a 10-year-old. Okay, you ready? So we're gonna ask a series. We're probably gonna do 10 questions each. Okay, are you ready? Would you yeah. like to ask me a question first? I'll start with the first one. Okay. okay, so would you rather be able to fly 100 miles per hour or walk 100 miles per hour? Wow, so walk 100 miles per hour would be like, like running. No, like, yeah, run. It would be running? Run. Okay, so I could run 100 miles per hour or I could fly 100 miles per hour. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't know. I feel like most people would say fly, but I think I would say run. Because I was a runner and I was a sprinter. I think it'd be really cool to run really fast. See, that's also hard for me because I would probably choose fly at this age because then you would be able to fly all to your different places you want to go for free. Oh yeah, for free. <laughs> that is a good point, Taylor. Okay, I have some questions on my phone that I'm going to like. Okay, let's see. Would you rather live one life that lasts for a thousand years or would you rather live 10 lives that last for 100 years each? So you could have 10 different lives for 100 years or would you want one that lasts for a thousand? I would probably go with one life because that way you wouldn't have to like, I would just do one because then you would get to do everything at one time. And you might not remember if you were in those 10 different lives what you had done and stuff like that. So I'd choose the one life. Yeah, you choose yeah. the one life? I don't know what I would choose because I was thinking about it and no, so you would go a thousand years and you would see all your loved ones die around you because they don't live that long. So I think I would do the 10 lives True. for a hundred and get to live with the people that I love each time, the whole time, you know? That's also a good point. What's my next question? Okay, let me think for a minute. So if you were to go swimming with one animal, these two animals, would you rather go swimming with a shark or sea turtles? I would say sea turtles. Sharks are very scary. Mm. I didn't get scared of sharks. True. Yeah. yeah. I would say sea turtles. What would you say? I'd probably... It depends what kind of shark they were. <laughs> like a little baby shark? Yeah. Baby Maybe. sharks. One does that come nibble on you? Yeah. Or like the great white <laughs> shark. No, I don't No, one. not the great white shark. The, um, the whale shark. Okay. Here's a funny question for you. Ready? Would you rather live without elbows? or without knees? I'd rather live without elbows because knees are what you walk on, do, cause I wouldn't be able to do sports and that would pretty much stink, so. <laughs> that would stink? Well then think about it though, if you didn't have elbows, then that would mean that, I wonder if that means that you wouldn't have the rest of your arm or if it'd just be straight. You'd just be like. Floppy. Straight everywhere. Yeah. Um, well, I think you'd have like more. I'd probably do legs still because yeah. then you wouldn't be able to walk. You would just sit around the whole time and be in wheelchair. Oh, yeah, that's true. Then you wouldn't be able to feel or hug or anything. I don't know. I think I would go without the leg. I would want my hand. I would, true, want, I would want the rest of my arms. I'd want to be able to hug people. or. Yeah, because wheelchairs aren't bad. They're actually fun. <laughs> well, I don't think that's true for people well, that have racing them. around. Oh, okay. No, oh, it's your turn to ask me a question. Okay. Whew. I think this is our third question. Yes. Okay. If you would rather, would you rather live in an apartment in New York City or would you rather live in a house in the Grand Canyon, even though that sounds so silly? That sounds so silly? Yeah. What if some of the, our people that are watching live in the Grand Canyon? No, like live in, like well, down, you, Well, down, first of all, down. you can't. Yeah, I know. It's but... a national park. <laughs> So you can't live there. Trust me, I've been to the Grand Canyon. It's so beautiful. 
Yeah. Yeah, I would love to live near it. Yeah. I think I would like to live in the city because that's my dream place to live in. My biggest dream is to live in New York City. That'd be so cool. I know. Yeah. What would you say? I'd probably go with Grand Canyon because I love how beautiful it is there and you just see all the mountains and stuff and all the You have some the moose yeah. outside your window? Yeah. Yep. I saw a moose when I went there too. Okay, next one. Would you rather wear a snowsuit in the desert or be naked in Antarctica? <laughs> <laughs> I would rather wear a snowsuit in Antarctica. No, in the in desert. In the desert? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd be. I'd rather be hot than cold. Yeah. I agree. Because cold is just like... <sighs> yeah, that wouldn't be good, huh? Yeah. Okay, your next question. Would you rather be a bus driver... No, never mind. Would you rather have not a lot of money and be so nice, or would you rather be... Would you rather have a lot of money and be mean? That's a very good question, Taylor. You came up with that? That's a really good one. Well, I think that's hard. Because not that I want to be mean, but to live with... I've seen how it is to live... No, not. I haven't seen how to live with no money, but I see how it gets hard when you have to pay things and you have to limit how much you spend and stuff. So living without money is makes for a hard life, but I think I would still do it to be nice. Yeah, so would I. Yeah. Question five. Would you rather be able to speak fluently every language in the world or be the best in the world at something of your choosing? So like say you love soccer. Would you want to be the best soccer player in the world or speak every language fluently? That's a hard one because if you speak the languages fluently, you also will get known for that probably. Yeah, like, you would be you because you'd be the best at that. And then you'd probably work for the FBI because you could speak every language. Yeah. I'm actually going to go with um, not the language but the, fir uh, the second one because I would like to choose what I would want to be good at because if... Well, I am choosing to know all the languages. I just would rather do that because I would want to do what I personally love and come face I agree. About. I think that's a good answer, Taylor. Very good answer. What's your next question for me? Whew, I wasn't even thinking about this one. What is this, question five? Ooh, I lost track. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, it's okay. Just, we'll pretend it's uh, six. Would you rather have four kids and have money or would you rather have four kids, this is similar to the last question, and have no money but you still get to do fun things with them? How would you get to do fun things? Like when you saved up for money. What's your question? Can would you, you rather have four kids and have money or would you rather have four kids and not have money? Well, I think I'd rather have four kids and have money. Yeah. Kids are expensive. You're expensive. <laughs> Let me see. I just was wrong. Ooh, this is a good one. Would you rather change the past or be able to see into the future? I'd rather change the past. Because if I made a mistake on a math test and now I know what it is, <laughs> I'd rather go and change that. <laughs> That's what you would use it for? Change math tests? Or if something wrong happened with my friends and I'm not friends with them anymore. Hmm. I mean, if I had to choose, I would say the past past only because I don't really want to see my future yeah I kind of want it to be surprised because like yeah you I'd wouldn't rather want to know how many kids you have who you got married to you would want that all to be a surprise yep except that I don't think I'd want to change the past either because yeah then that changes the future too all right what's your next question would you rather be a taxi driver or an uber driver I think everybody would say uber I was gonna say that too would you rather be able to read or be able to read minds but be illiterate. So that means that you'd be able to see what people are thinking, but you're illiterate. So you couldn't read, you couldn't do anything. But if you could read, then you would be literate. But if you couldn't, then you're illiterate. Do you know what that means? Well, now that you just told me, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go with the first one because I wouldn't want like to know, like what if there was a surprise party going on for me and I found that out. <laughs> That's reading people's minds. <laughs> That's good. That's a good, good so point. So I would rather go with the first one. That's a good point. I agree. I think I'd rather be literate than be able to read people's oh, minds. I don't know. I don't want to know what people are thinking. Would you rather have a holiday after you or would you rather, rather just have all these holidays that we still have? So there would only be one holiday after you or all the ones that we still have? Um, or what's yeah, the question? like one big holiday, sort of like you still had some of the holidays, but if you were to just, yeah, no, yeah. 
No. <laughs> if you would just have one holiday out of this whole year about you, or would you rather have all the holidays we still have? Uh, I don't think I want a holiday after me. I think I'd rather have all the holidays. Because they're fun. They're nicely spread out throughout the yeah. year. Different celebrations for different reasons. Yeah. And I haven't done anything that amazing. I don't think I need a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, think so? Okay, I lost track where we're about. Are where we at? Are we at our question? Are we? Oh, we were further. I don't know, sorry guys. <laughs> so, we're gonna be somewhere between 8 to 10 questions, maybe. But, um... Do you wanna just do 11? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one more question, okay? Ooh, ooh, would you rather have a dragon or be a dragon? Be a dragon. You wanna be a dragon? Because you get to fly. I would be a nice dragon, though. I would only spend fire at my hand. Enemies like other dragons, or would yeah. it just be you? I want it. We want it to be me, so that way he can control me. Because if I had a pet, I couldn't control him because he has his own mind. So I think I'd want a pet dragon. Because then everybody. Like, oh my god, he's dragging that. Like the dragon, like Aragorn. Like, 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 okay. I'd rather be a dragon. You want to ask one more question? Finish yeah. it off. Okay. Okay. Would you rather be good at science or math? Uh, no, history or math. I'm already good at history and not good at math. And I find history more interesting than math. So I think history. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Well, I think that's it, guys. We're going to finish it off right there. And then we're going to have some more videos coming your way. So stay tuned. Please be sure to look out for those. How did you like it, Taylor? Yeah. Yeah? Good. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe if you're new to my channel. We'll see some fun stuff coming your way. There's going to be more vlogs this month. All sorts of fun stuff. So that's it. Bye. Bye, guys.